Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time it's on Marilyn Manson. So there have been a lot, a lot of allegations and he's in the middle of a huge scandal and I believe he was dropped by his label. I'm not 100% sure about that, allegedly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see what's going on here and what the fallout of this is and just the energy in general. Remember, these readings are all alleged for entertainment purposes only. And let's get started. By the way, guys, please make sure you follow me on Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Amphrodite, same name everywhere. I do these live on Twitch. Now, I will say I have a new setup, okay? I do have new lighting, and I am using a new deck today in honor of the new lighting and this particular reading. I am using a Nightmare Before Christmas deck, so. Ooh. Okay, Ace of Cups reversed. Temperance reversed. The devil. Okay. Wait. Ace of Cups. Huh. Ace of Cups would be a loving bond that's been severed. A falling out of love. Temperance is imbalance, impatience, and unfairness. And then the devil card is manipulation and, oh, and could be abuse, sexual deviance. Six of Cups is the past. The Wheel of Fortune is an opportunity. And the Justice card is about justice being delivered. Okay. <laughs> Two of Wands is sex. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I get this right before I say anything. Hangman is about sacrifice. This Queen of Presents... Presence here are pentacles that's reversed and the death card okay well i can tell you right off the bat um these two definitely worry me because there's definitely some sort of mental anguish um i'm a little bit concerned about these two together death and hangman um with justice and and um devil there's definitely some weird energy i know that he's made a lot of songs about you know mental anguish and things like that Maybe there's some projection here onto others in terms of the experiences that they were having. Uh, maybe he projects his own sort of mental anguish onto other people and then takes it out on them. I'm not 100% sure, but what I can tell you is there's some dark energy here. Like this is definitely some really dark thoughts. Uh, definitely very concerning for me. Um, I don't really like the way that feels. Um, there's something weird there. I, I just, again, I mean, I guess you, I don't really have to say it. I guess you can kind of see it. Hangman, death. I think it kind of speaks for itself there. And we'll just leave that alone for now. Um, but the devil card here is what's bothering me. So I know that he like talks about, you know, devil worship and stuff like that. But devil can be manipulation tactics. It can be sex. It can also be abuse. Um, and it's reversed with the temperance reverse, which means that things weren't fair. So I definitely think there was power play involved. And I think there were power dynamics involved. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that he thinks that these were actually something that was like consensual. <laughs> like, I think he's deluded enough to think that his actions were normal. Like, he thinks that that's normal. He thinks that that's how it works. It's weird. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, um, the Queen of Pentacles reverse, and the Justice card means that he really does think people are doing this for a payout. Like, he's convinced himself of that. That's not going to change. Um, justice card being upright says that justice will be delivered, though. So I'm not sure if there's a legal case here, but sometimes when we see Wheel of Fortune and Justice, there may be some sort of civil suit or some sort of, uh, you know, legal thing that ends up uh, ruling in, in, in the favor of whoever else is here. Because um, it's not, I don't think it, I don't think it'll be ruled in his favor. At least doesn't really look that way um, because it looks more like he'd probably settle if anything. Um, but what I can tell you is it does really look to me like he has no idea what a boundary is. Seven of Pentacles pulled out of his comfort. 
which one is this? This one is the Nine of, of Swords. Overanalyzing, overthinking, and the Ten of Swords is a backstabbing and betrayal. Wow. This guy really thinks like everyone turned on him. Well, I guess I can technically understand him feeling that way, right? All he feels like, well, why is everyone saying this now? I, I don't just, I just, I don't. Is he like a? Is he like allegedly? Is he like a raging narcissist? Like, I can see why he thinks that, even though it doesn't make any sense because he doesn't understand. So the three of swords is a heartbreak. It's a breakup. Or heartbreak. Six of Swords is about the internet. And the Ten of Cups is like a happily ever after in a family card. So for me, he feels like it's like a like the internet. It's like a war on the internet. How the hell did he delude himself into this? I'm so confused. He is completely convinced that this is just the internet. Someone going against him and using the internet as a weapon against him. I'm not saying that that's not possible. What I'm saying is, I don't actually think that that's what's going on. Perhaps maybe that's what kick-started this. Perhaps he has an issue with someone. Maybe it's someone important or something. Um, and that... Okay, that's what's going on. Okay. Yeah, then, okay. Knight of Swords, okay. Impurity... Ten of Wands is a burden, and the King of Wands is the aggressive act. So here's what happened. He pissed off somebody. He pissed off somebody that is very important. I don't know if they're at the record label. I don't know what it is. And this person has had this information on him for a while. Now, I'm not sure if it's blackmail or not, but what I can say is it looks like it because this person was waiting to topple his, his tower and... He pissed them off. Uh, it's almost like a contract expired. It's like, well, you have this many years, and then when I don't need you anymore, contracts expired. They kickstarted this. That's why he's going to feel like it's like a social media attack because there is some part of that that kickstarted this. But if anything, it's more like the energy that was allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, protecting you no longer is protecting you. So think of it like that. Think of it like, well, you were protected before, but your time ran out. The sands of time ran out, and so now you're not protected anymore. So it looks like people, someone, it was like, you know what? Fuck this guy, and they let it rip. I feel like there was, I feel like there may have been, allegedly, I think there may have been people that were going to write stories about this that were prevented before. King of Cups, Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands, Three of Cups. Yes. So I believe that there were people that were convinced and there were people that were, I don't know if it was paid off, to be honest. I think it's favors. Um, like, don't run this story and I'll give you this story instead. There were people that were protecting this information and they threw him right under the bus. They're like, we don't need you anymore. So that's why he feels that way because I guess the energy started off as like a good luck, sis. It's like pushing someone off the, off the boat and watching them sink and being like, bye, Felicia. That's what's going on here. Um, the thing is, is that I, I, he, I mean, the sun is reversed, which is unhappiness and broken relationships. Okay, this one is the four, right? The four of wands is the uncomfortable environment, and the three of wands is about um, being forced out of here. So for me, it seems like he, I don't, he, it's crazy because this, he really thinks that's how relationships go. That's a relationship card, the nine of pentacles reversed. And then what is this? This is the Seven of Swords reverse of failure. And then the Five of fucking Pentacles, which is abuse of power. He really thinks, he really fucking thinks that this is how relationships go. That's weird.
when he says that this was consensual, he believes that it was consensual. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that statement. However, that's his opinion, I suppose. Um, cause that cause we go back to the beginning of this reading when I pulled the devil, the temperance card and the ace of cups reverse, which is mean, which means he's broken. And the way he shows love, I'm going to be honest with you. It reads as crossing the line. Now I'm, I'm not able to say whether someone is abuse abusive or not, or the acts are abuse. But what I can say is that I would not want to be in a connection like that because I do not think that boundaries are respected. I don't think that people are treated with respect. I don't think that that is how an individual showcases love or should receive love. To me, it reads as completely and utterly toxic. I mean, devil reversed has no idea, like no idea that that's not how it works, which is not an excuse, by the way, but I'm just telling you what's going on in his head. Let's pull from another, another deck. Justice being upright is a good sign, though. It means justice will be delivered one way or another. Wrongs are always righted, and people are vindicated with justice upright. I wonder if this is something that he was able to hide from certain people. Fated to suffer. Masquerade, I knew it. Sacrifice. Today for tomorrow. So, this is like, to me, this reminds me of someone that has multiple pets or multiple littles if they're like a daddy dom. Um, it's definitely someone that has multiple people. Um, definitely a double life here. Uh, fated to suffer means that the connections were never going to work because they were toxic. Um, the sacrifice card in the today for tomorrow says that he removed, replaced. That was his type of energy. Parasite is the negativity inside of him and triumph of lies. I'll tell you what, there's one girl that he didn't treat like this. There's one girl that he didn't treat like this. However, I think he showed signs and I think she was able to quell it and then ran when she couldn't anymore. But there's one girl here that, because the triumph of lies means that there's, and today for tomorrow means that he's going to try and get this one girl to speak up. That's going to be his, his goal is to get this one girl to speak up because I don't think that she experienced the same level, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only. I don't think she experienced the same level of this. And then once it started to show, I think she ran. Yep, riding a cage. It's a girl. So I think that he's going to try and bank on her. He's banking on her. It's, you know what I think it is? I just think that he, I don't think he really understood. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, it, I, he's giving me narcissist tease. Like, I don't think he understands or comprehends other people, other people's feelings and other people's wants or needs. I don't think that he understands them. Again, I'm not excusing his behavior. I don't, I'm, I'm just, I'm, my job is to tell you what he's feeling and to find out what's going on inside of his head. Um, so I don't know if this girl was someone that he was really close to, almost married to or married. I can't tell you, but yeah. So good news is justice cards upright, which means justice will be delivered. Um, swift justice. Uh, so if there's any sort of civil suit or anything like that that can come up, there you go. Uh, other thing I'm seeing is I'm not really seeing a super competitive, money-hungry energy. That seems like bullshit to me. I don't see money in, as a main motivator. I think that's bullshit. That didn't show up at all. Um, and I hope that all the victims are, are able to be at peace. Um, 
and get the justice that they deserve. And that's about it. Um, remember, these readings are all alleged for entertainment purposes only. These are all my opinion. No facts here, honey. Uh, if you like that, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I do these live there, Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and on YouTube here down below. Amphrodite, subscribe. Um, there's a link to my PayPal. If you enjoyed this reading, you can always tip. Um, and until next time, bye, guys.